Welcome to a brief overview of the National Center and State Collaborative, or NICSIC, Learning Progressions Frameworks. The intended goals of this module are to introduce or become aware of the National Center and State Collaborative Learning Progressions Frameworks. Understand where the learning progressions fit in Florida's instructional schema. Recognize that NICSIC's coding system for the core content connectors is based on the learning progressions frameworks and is referenced in the materials and resources provided by the project. And understand that Florida will replace the NICSIC codes for the core content connectors with its own unique system over time. To best understand references made to previously introduced terms and concepts, it is recommended that participants view both the National Center and State Collaborative Overview Module, which outlines the framework and resources to support access to the Common Core State Standards for students with a significant cognitive disability, and Florida's Coding System for the Common Core State Standards and Core Content Connectors Module, since reference will be made specifically to the NICSIC Framework of Access and Florida's unique coding system for identifying the Common Core Standards and Core Content Connectors. Professional development modules are available on the CPOMS website at www.cpoms.org or www.floridastandards.org. In the overview module of NICSIC's approach to access to the Common Core State Standards for students with a significant cognitive disability, the Curriculum Instruction and Assessment Framework was introduced, noting communicative competency as the base for access, all to support college, career, and community readiness. The Curriculum component specifies what students will be taught and learn, and includes the Common Core State Standards, Core Content Connectors, or CCCs, and Graduated Understandings. An additional curriculum component not yet introduced is the Learning Progressions Frameworks. It is necessary that Florida teachers understand the nature of the NICSIC Learning Progressions Frameworks and how Florida will, will be using them to foster multi-grade lesson planning and instructional sequencing. Let's begin by addressing what learning progressions are. The Learning Progressions Frameworks, or LPF, present a broad description of the essential content and general sequencing for student learning and skill development. The Learning Progressions Frameworks is a hypothesized pathway that typical peers may take and is meant to inform what typical peers will be working on grade by grade. In the past, we have struggled to understand how to choose content grade by grade to ensure inclusion of students with the most significant cognitive disabilities in grade and age-appropriate content, even though they may not have built all the skills in a previous grade. The LPFs give us the educational logic to help move these students along with their peers in a logical, educationally sound way. National component experts and researchers in mathematics were asked to identify specific content strands that represented a way to organize essential learning for all students, K through 12. The strands provide a framework for discussing the knowledge, skills, and abilities that constitute mathematical proficiency. Six major strands were identified for the learning progressions frameworks. Symbolic expression, represented by the abbreviation SE, the nature of numbers and operations, NO, measurement, ME, patterns, relations, and functions, PRF, geometry, GM, and data analysis, probability, and statistics, DPS. It is not the intent that skills and concepts from a particular strand be taught in isolation in a linear sequence but rather be integrated among strands, such as in a problem-solving situation where students are demonstrating their understanding of measurement concepts while applying their knowledge of numbers and operations and using symbolic expression. 
In other words, the learning progressions frameworks should be thought of as a general map for learning and not a single route to a destination. We will look at how to read the learning progressions frameworks through the strand of patterns, relations, and functions. Let's examine the three components of the learning progressions frameworks, strands, learning targets, and progress indicators. The learning progressions frameworks begins with a strand. The strand includes a description of its enduring understanding or big idea across all grades, K through 12. This statement describes the learning that should endure over the long term and resides at the heart of the discipline. For example, each component of the patterns, relations, and functions strand will relate to the enduring understanding or big idea that patterns, relations, and functions are used to represent and analyze change in various contexts, make predictions and generalizations, and provide models and explanations for real-world phenomena. The next component in the learning progressions frameworks are the learning targets. Learning targets break down the K through 12 big idea to more specific descriptions of what students should know and be able to do by the end of specified grade bands K through 4, 5 through 8, and 9 through 12. The learning targets for the strand of patterns, relations, and functions show how conceptual understanding in the strand deepen and broaden across a student's school career. In this case, students at the elementary level are expected to give examples, interpret and analyze repeating and growing patterns and functions involving the four basic operations of mathematics. By the end of middle school, students give examples, interpret and analyze a variety of mathematical patterns, relations, and explicit and recursive functions. And finally, by the end of high school, and to be college and career ready, students use trends and analyze a variety of mathematical patterns, relations, and explicit and recursive functions. Continuing with our example in the LPF strand of patterns, relations, and functions, and using the K-4 through elementary learning target of give examples, interpret, and analyze repeating and growing patterns and functions involving the four basic operations, you can see how the learning target begins to build toward the strand's big idea or enduring understanding. The next component in the learning progressions frameworks are the progress indicators. The progress indicators further break down the big idea and learning targets into more specific descriptions of what students should know and be able to do by the end of shorter specific grade spans within a band, and use research synthesis to establish a general order of how the skills and concepts emerge for typical peers. While the learning targets specify what students should know and be able to do at the end of elementary, middle, and high school, the progress indicators do the same, but at a finer grain size. At the elementary level, progress indicators identify the specific skills and concepts that build toward performance of the learning target and are organized in grade spans K through 2 and 3 through 4. The middle school progress indicators are organized in grade spans 5, 6, and 7, 8. Finally, the grades 9, 10, and 11-12 progress indicators develop the skills and concepts necessary to achieve the high school learning target. Using the patterns, relations, and functions elementary learning target example, let's review the progress indicators for grade clusters K through 2 and 3 4. Notice that the progress indicators are presented in a general order of how the skills and concepts emerge for most students and how the skills and concepts deepen and broaden to build toward achievement of the elementary learning target. Learning progressions help us as teachers to see the skills that come before and after in a learning sequence. This can be very helpful in analyzing student learning to identify what is missing 
or needs to be strengthened and or supported, as well as planning instruction across multiple grades within a classroom. The core content connectors, which have been aligned to the Common Core State Standards, are duly aligned to the learning progressions frameworks and specify grade level learning that leads to mastery of the progress indicators. The CCCs cannot simply be taught as isolated skills out of context. Skills and concepts must be built during instruction and practiced in multiple contexts to truly promote the use and generalization of mathematical concepts. Using the LPF as a guide helps to identify how the CCCs are pulled together to allow for the development of schemas that deepen and broaden conceptual understanding. Notice that in the National Center and State Collaborative model, the codes identifying the individual CCCs are derived from the learning progressions frameworks, rather than Florida's coding schema. As just mentioned, the CCCs are duly aligned to the Common Core State Standards and the Learning Progressions Frameworks. Alignment to the Common Core promotes access to grade level content and fosters instruction of the Common Core State Standards for students with a significant cognitive disability. Alignment to the Learning Progressions Frameworks, on the other hand, promotes teaching toward defined learning outcomes and also promotes sequential instruction of the big ideas and concepts across grades and grade bands. Be aware that the NICSIC Learning Progressions Frameworks are referenced in most of the materials produced by the National Center and State Collaborative using the Learning Progression Frameworks coding system. Don't worry about understanding the LPF codes. These codes will be replaced with Florida's unique system over time. For example, the element cards will reference the core content connectors and the progress integrators using the NICSIC Learning Progression Frameworks coding system. It is not something you will need to memorize. Florida has its own unique coding system. NICSIC materials will be revised to reflect the Florida coding system. As a review, the learning progressions organize the curriculum to show what knowledge and skills lead up to the current grade level and what knowledge and skills come after. For Florida, they also provide a framework for planning multi-grade instruction and sequencing of instruction from beginning levels to more sophisticated ways of thinking about an idea. Just keep in mind that the learning progressions frameworks are referenced in most of the materials produced by the National Center and State Collaborative and that the LPF codes will be replaced with Florida's unique system over time. All to ensure that in Florida students with the most significant cognitive disabilities achieve increasingly higher academic outcomes and leave high school ready for post-secondary options. The sites listed here can be used if you would like more information on the learning progressions frameworks for mathematics and or the Florida Common Core documents.